Hey my dear watchers, it's Steve Narias Coffee Sip Game again with another free game tip. This one is MMO and hey, it's War Thunder. You may have heard about this game in comparing it with a World of Warplanes and actually they are very similar. I may compare them later, but now it's War Thunder and I have to say, wow. So where to start, where to start, because there are so many brilliant and superb things I really don't know which one to start with. Okay, the main content is controlling and flying with Second World War planes or airplanes. Uh, that covers the early to late types. You become a pilot for one of the most powerful nations in the time. There are Germany, Russia, USA, the Great Britain and Japan. All the nations are accessible during the whole game. You just don't need to choose one and stick with it. Every nation has its own planes. There are so many things to choose from. There are fighters, heavy fighters, uh, bombers, dive bombers, heavy bombers, torpedo bombers, float planes, oh so many choices. And all the machines are from 1927 to 1948 period. No jokes my friends, there is over 100 models, that's a huge number. There is even a nice technology tree for each plane, but I will talk about it later. Let's move to the thing where we will spend most of the time, the combat itself. War Thunder starts gaining positive points even in the tutorial. The game of course teaches you the basic controls as flying and shooting, however it is so intuitive and simple that you will join your first battle in 5 minutes. You don't need to know nothing else, it is so so simple. So far the combat and war offer 3 modes. The first one is arcade, the most popular, the second one is a historical battle and the third one is realistic battle. Arcade is the most popular and probably most of the fun, I will explain it. The arcade mode offers more simple control, you don't need to land on the airfield, so replenish your ammo, it goes automatically and you respawn. And this is big because you can have up to 5 planes for each nation without paying real money. So when shot down you can just jump on different plane and continue fighting. This mode offers two sub modes, the first one is Dominion, that means that you try to control uh, most of the three airports and the opposite team will start losing points if you control more than one. And the second mode in arcade is something like deathmatch, however the shutdowns or kills aren't counted or aren't too important. What's important are the ground targets. It is because War Thunder is preparing for a bright future. The game will not be only about plane fights, uh, but even tanks and battleships will join the war. They have already joined, but they are controlled only by AI. We will see in the future how it goes, because even now when there are 15 versus 15 planes fighting, it still can get somehow messy without some leadership or cooperation. And now imagine that there are 15 ships versus 15 ships, 15 planes versus 50 planes and 40 tanks versus 40 tanks. Ooh, that's quite messy. Back to our game modes. The real battles are about of course more reality, the control is slightly more difficult, you have to begin starting on your airport, you have to replenish your ammo there, so that means you have to learn landing as well. The historical battles are of course battles which really took place during the second world war and are very similar to the reality battles. The biggest difference between these two modes and the arcade mode is that you have only one plane, the death is permanent. I mean not in the whole game but in this battle. Ok, let's return to the technology tree. Every plane has its own technology tree. However, to unlock it you must earn enough experience. It's like unlocking the planes. At first you need some experience for the nation you are playing for, then you unlock some better airplane and the same thing happens for the airplane itself. You have to fly with them, battle with them and mostly win with them to unlock new upgrades. The upgrades can help you in the combat, however the buffs aren't so strong and there is the rule that even with a weaker plane you can shoot down stronger opponents, it is really up to your skills. For paying customers War Thunder offers a certain number of planes which can be bought of course only for real money and someone can argue that they are unbalanced or stronger, I say no, it doesn't matter. I hope I have increased your interest in this game and maybe we will see each other in the skies next day. Uh, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for everyday free game tip and more content, the important links are below the video, please visit my facebook page and like it, it will make me very happy and I will see you later.